morning children bit of a different video um i am at dairy tech of all places um i've come to meet a couple of people and no concreting going on at home fortunately um for me really weird i feel like i've been in that building there before i'm pretty sure i have i think that's the hdb building i've just recognized it from the side It must be. It must be. I've been in there There's before. There's no rules against walking on the grass because I'm doing it. I feel really self-conscious with bright red hair. <sighs> yes. Nice and tight. Yeah. Imagine it's a... Chin, double chin, double chin, no double chin. <laughs> Look what I found. This is where our milk's going to be going. These are the cubicles that we're getting. That was really comfortable. Is so basically we can actually fix them ourselves because we have mattresses that run the full length of the shed, which is brilliant. Don't get me wrong, they've been really handy and they've lasted 20 years. I think they were put in about 23 years ago. But now there's holes in them, the whole thing needs replacing. We can't do anything. Whereas if one of these gets a hole in, all we need to do is take a screwdriver to them, unbolt them silver things, what they got. Strips. Joining strips, yeah. we just unbolt them and stick a new mat in and Bob's your uncle and it's back to normal. Because once they've started ruining something, they literally carry on until it's <laughs> complete destruction. You're highly unlikely to have to go replace them anyway. She would say I that though, wouldn't she? She would say that, I wouldn't like she? You don't it's need to sell them, I've now. already yeah. bought them, you don't need to. I've already bought them, you don't need to sell them to me. <laughs> Take pictures. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> so, the Keeper Keenan broke last night. I was on the way back from Dairy Tech and I got um, a phone call from my and he said, The Keenan's completely broken, the chain's fallen off, everything's fallen to pieces, life's ending basically. And I'm outside at nine o'clock at night still trying to fork bits of silage to cows. Anyway, Graham Haler is here and he um, fixes things literally straight and he's come and fixed it. So, you know, like the banging of the Keenan that goes dung dung here. I even know where it bangs. It's been doing it for quite a long time. And um, that's because the chain had stretched and oh, that's knackered. We need a new chain and a new sprocket. Which bit's the sprocket? that bit not that massive one because that looks expensive that's, all right. that's fine so what was wrong with it you know when it was banging this tensioner here can you see the spring had gone you can't see it there that spring there can you see the spring the spring had gone and that was hanging down here so the chain was loose so it was working but occasionally it was hitting this 
and you could probably see where it was hitting it. And then I'd be stood here and Roy'd be feeding it, it'd go dum 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 and I'd be like, oh, the mystery solved. Well done. <laughs> so we need some new bits. And that's the inside of a Keenan if anyone wanted to know. Big, isn't it? You know like when you've been on a trampoline for ages and then you jump off and it's really weird that the floor is still. My knees feel like um, the jelly because I've been bouncing around on that thing. Jerry's looking puzzled. You're looking puzzled. Chasing me with his bigger float than mine. Inky wants to be a part of the action. I've said no. I'm just not happy. She's trying to scratch me. You're not allowed to be in on it. No, stop it now. Do not fall out. I'm going in the house. I am so cold right now. I'm standing here, I'm suddenly realizing how cold the cows are going to be stood here and through this side. Food for thought. Because cows don't like being cold, do they? Like windy and blustery, do you know what I mean? Let's see if this works. Might be a bit of a big bang, just so you know. Yes, it needs a wash. Is it affecting the usability of the machine? No, no it isn't. It's parked under a tree. That was really uneventful, I'm really sorry. I'm just holding these guys back. This big gangly hoof person here, um, it slipped yesterday in there. Um, they were all scrambling around being silly after some straw was put in and he ended up on the concrete and he slipped. Anyway, he was limping a little bit. So we put him in here on his own, which is brilliant. 
Um, and actually, to be fair, he's absolutely fine. But obviously, he's got his own food here and he's not arguing with anybody else. So we'll see how he gets on. He's only got... You can't see him walk because he's not doing it. We'll have to watch him walk um, and see how he gets on. So it's another late one tonight and me and Roy are just taking feed out for the sheep and I need two hands, so I'm gonna have to go. But yeah, just is how it is at the minute. Okay, do you know what? Is that better? I think it might be. I had a screen protector on my camera and it cracked. It is, inc <laughs> it is incredibly windy, can you tell? So we have really got on. Look at this. Oh my God, I'm just so happy. So happy. So more concrete tomorrow morning. All down here has been leveled up. It's all perfect. That shutter is stunning. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But yeah, super, super chuffed. Look at this, it's really coming on now. Friday tomorrow, the rooms arrive for the robots to go in and then I'd like to say work can really start, but like obviously work's already really started, hasn't it? Um, I tell you what, it literally is coming together fast. And I want to tell you, it was all a happy accident and it just happened like this. But let's be honest, it did not. And I will not take any credit for that whatsoever. It has been Dean Dag, Gary's come to do the concrete in here, and Roy. And it has been, it just has been a whirlwind project, which is absolutely wonderful. But all of the steps were already set in place before any of this happened. Three phase, lane, the channels were all here. You know, everything here ready which has made all the difference to how fast we've got on now i know we've got a lot of doubters um but yeah do you know what watch this face watch this face really inspiring trip to dairy tech yesterday absolutely wonderful i hope you can hear me up in this roof space um but yeah really inspiring trip to dairy tech yesterday i met some friends people i already knew i made some new contacts and it was absolutely wonderful i did some filming for farming britain that is out now i've reposted it on my youtube it'll be all over my social media all over gareth wood jones's social media all over the farming britain social media i'll also leave a link below this video if you fancy going and having a look please do it'll mean an awful lot it's probably one of the first projects I've done that's not been me talking to my phone, which is kind of scary, but do you know what? I'm absolutely loving it. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I do, I appreciate all of you. Don't forget, you can subscribe. As Andrew Ward says, it doesn't cost you anything. 